Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with a scrapbooking video for you guys. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done any scrapbooking on my channel, and really that's because I haven't had a whole lot of photos. You know, this year we haven't been doing as much <laughs> this last year, but I do have a stack of photos that I'm starting to accumulate. I've got like the boys' first day of school. We took a trip um, to Vegas for 4th of July. We had their birthday this last weekend, so I am kind of getting some more photos to document. And so I wanted to start working on those. I have this photo today. Um, this was from their birthday this weekend. They turned 14. And so uh, I wanted to make sure I started documenting it's the few photos that I have, um, you know, kind of starting to accumulate. So I am using the August collection from Freckled Fawn. Uh, I know I haven't been sharing as many unboxings. I just have been trying to get back in the groove of things and uh, didn't want to be pushing something if I wasn't using it. And so um, there isn't an unboxing for the August collection, but I'll run you through it really quick and show you what is in there. And then I'll have unboxings going um, forward from here now that I'm kind of back into a regular schedule. But they do also have these new binders in the Freckled Fawn shop that are amazing. So. I have ordered three of these now. I love them so much. They did send me the um, August collection to, to play with, but I did order the binders. So I, you know, I, I love their stuff over at Freckled Fawn and these are so nice and just good quality. So it's like a faux leather material. It's got nice hardware that's gonna protect the edges. It does have a like a book plate area. So if you wanted to put the year or, you know, the topic of, you know, whatever you're documenting in here, you definitely could put that in there. Um, and then it is four rings and this is sized for travelers notebooks, which is awesome. So they do sell some um, page protector sleeves that fit into this. I'm not going to use those for now. I might change my mind and, and do something different later on. Um, but for now, I'm not going to use the page protectors just because I usually do a lot of chunky embellishment on my layouts. But they do have those um, sleeves if you wanted to get those as well. But I think these would be great for a variety of different projects. So whether you are a traveler's notebook documenter um, and it makes it nice that they are, you know, kind of stored better. Some of my traveler's notebooks, um, I just have them sitting on the shelf and they're just not nicely protected. So it's nice that I can work in that traveler's notebook size, but have it protected in this binder. But also a lot of the devotional kits that I work in by the Will for God, Open Journey, um, their devotionals are traveler's notebook sized. So you could break down those devotionals and then put them in this binder and work directly in the binder. Let's say you're you're not, not comfortable journaling on a Bible page or something like that. Um, this just gives you another option. Also great for sermon notes or um, word studies, things like that. It's just a smaller size than like a full six by eight or 12 by 12 album um, that just kind of gives you some more options. And then it's all nice and contained um, and kept safe in that binder format, which is really nice. So I'll just be cutting down my papers to traveler's notebook size or deconstructing traveler's notebooks as I work through here. Um, but again, they do have those sleeve protectors if you would rather use um, those. So like I said, I'm gonna be using the August collection from Freckled Fawn and I do get the six by eight um, papers and that's just because I do a variety of different projects, whether that be in my um, journaling Bible or mini albums or traveler's notebook. And so I like that I can cut these down um, depending on what I'm gonna do. But if you are only going to be working in Traveler's Notebook. They do sell these papers already cut and scaled to Traveler's Notebook. So they don't just cut them. The pattern's actually scaled to fit that four and a quarter by eight inch tall um, page. But I have the six by eights. Um, these papers are really nice. And this is one of the things I like about Freckled Fawn is just the quality of the products are really good. So um, the paper is nice and thick to where you don't have to double it up. And I feel comfortable using it without the, the page protection in my binder because these pages are so thick. You could use them as card bases for greeting cards, mini albums, um, tip-ins, things like that, and it's not gonna be super flimsy fall apart. Um, it's more like a cardstock, uh, printed cardstock. So you get, they're all double-sided. You get two of each print, which is nice. So that you either get two if you extra like the floral print, or you can have one of each and you're not having to decide, you know, which side of the paper that you're wanting to use. So I like that you get two um, of each design. So you've got this beautiful kind of hand-drawn floral. You've got this um, stripe and you're gonna see lots of florals and lots of pinks and purples in this August collection, which I love, um, but I am documenting my boys. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of make this more of a masculine layout, even with all these florals and pink. So here's a tiny, kind of illustrated floral. 
And then the back is the stripe. You can see I've already cut it down because I am gonna use this in today's layout. So there is just, it's actually a dark, dark uh, teal. It's like this color here, uh, stripe. And then there is a um, cross pattern in kind of that mint green. So I also cut that one down because I'll be using those today. Uh, and then on the back of that cross pattern, you have a gray polka dot. You have this ray pattern. I think this would be really fun to put like a photo here and then maybe do some tone on tone embellishments or actually do your journaling along the rays. I think that would be really cute. And then on the back of that is a pink kind of cross hatch pattern there. So there are the papers. Again, you do have the six by eight or the traveler's notebook sized options. Um, they do sell all of their kits like as a kit. So you can do the traveler's notebook or the six by eight or the journaling cards, um, or you can order things a la carte. So if you just want the papers or just want the stickers or just want the alphas, um, you can order those individually. So I also have here the journaling cards. These are three by four size. Um, and so these, again, same like the paper, you get two of each design and they're double sided. So you've got some cards that are better suited for like filler cards if you're doing um, like pocket page uh, scrapbooking, you've got some filler cards. I also like to use these for more private journaling spots in my journaling Bible. They're a good size for that. Um, you can also use them to mat behind photos. Um, I like to cut them down. You've got some that have some areas that you can stamp on or add embellishment. This would be fun to put like a photo in the middle of there. So just even if you're not doing pocket page scrapbooking, um, don't think that you can't use these cards. There's lots of different ways to use them and I've shown lots of different ways on my channel. I'm gonna be using this card as well today for my journaling. It has kind of that more neutral floral there. Uh, you've got this grid pattern. That's that burst, sunburst kind of pattern there, just scaled down. There are those florals from that floral pattern paper and then happy time. So you can see some of them have some space to do some journaling and then others are just some embellishment um, cards. So there are the journaling card, three by four journaling cards. Next you have these label stickers. And this again is one of the things I like about Freckled Fawn um, and just the products that they offer is that they've got some just good basic staples. So the, yes, you can use them for scrapbooking, but you can use them for note taking. You can use them in Bible journaling. They're very basic essentials to have in your stash um, and in colors that coordinate with the release for that month. But other than that, they're pretty neutral, you know, there's not words already on it or designs already on it. Um, so you can kind of mix and match with other things. So this sheet of label stickers, and these are just over four inches wide, which is different than some of the other label stickers I've seen. They almost fully cover a traveler's notebook page, which is really nice and unique. Now these uh, stickers do have a little bit of a coating to them. So if you're gonna be stamping on these, I would use archival ink or stays on ink. Um, and you may even wanna use a stamp positioning tool so you don't slip and slide, um, but they are just really nice like cardstock uh, stickers. Next, we have the chipboard stickers. These are another favorite of mine from Freckled Fawn, and I love how they do these. So they do have a backer sheet on them um, rather than being on like a sticker sheet. And so you can pop them out and kind of test them out on your project before you commit and stick it down, which is really nice. So you've got a variety of different shapes. You've got some um, phrases and words. Uh, again, you can stamp on these. I would just make sure you're using um, like a dye ink or stays on archival. Um, pigment ink is gonna take a little bit longer to dry on this coated uh, surface. But there is a look at the different chipboard stickers that coordinate with the collection this month. I love the florals. Um, I am gonna have to be incorporating those florals into something, maybe just not one of my boys' <laughs> photos. Next, we have the washi sheets. These are super neat. So you get two um, of the same patterns of washi and these are made out of actual washi material. So they tear just like washi tape, but rather than having a full roll of washi tape, I really have only gone through an entire roll of washi tape a handful of times. And a lot of mine I've had to toss out because they start to kind of, you know, get colored funny or lose their stickiness. And you don't have that problem with these. You're just getting smaller samples of those different washi patterns. So just enough that you can use, get your projects done, but you're not gonna be storing rolls and rolls of washi tape, which is really nice. They also have a variety of widths. So some are wider, some are more narrow. So you're just getting a lot of variety with the washi sheets, super cute. Next is the wood veneer piece for this month, Together is Best. I love the Freckle Fun wood veneer pieces. Um, this one almost 
again, fully fits across a traveler's notebook page. I want to say it's about four, yeah, about four inches wide. I like to color my wood veneer. I know a lot of people use wood veneer just as is, um, but I like to color and tint it. And so for that, I prefer distress paints. You can use regular acrylic paints, but I found these are really nice because they're super fluid. Um, and so they're not gonna build up a thick layer of paint on the wood veneer. It actually kind of soaks in, but um, it maintains its color. You can also use Distress Oxide inks or just a Distress Oxide sprays. These are a blend of dye and pigment. So that pigment that is in the oxide is what's gonna give you the best color payoff. Look at that, that color matches perfect. <laughs> best color payoff um, on the wood veneer. If you used dye-based inks or dye-based sprays um, or watercolors, you know, things like that, um, you're, you'll be able to see the wood grain, but you're also gonna have the influence of the wood grain color affecting the color that you're putting on there. So you wanna stick with something that's got a pigment. I like the Distress Paints or the Oxide inks to color them. And I will be coloring this one today. Next up, we have the puffy heart stickers. These are so adorable. I love the size. Um, they are puffy, but they're not so obnoxious that you can't use them in your journaling Bible or something like that. Um, again, you're getting them in the colors that coordinate with the kit. And you can see there are greens and blues. I'm gonna be leaning a little bit more into those with my layout today, um, but you've got several of each color and they're just a really good, small, fun size. So there are the Freckled Fawn puffy hearts. Last but not least, we have the alpha stickers for this month. Um, we've seen this font from them before. It's a fun kind of whimsical sans serif font. You do also have some numbers on the side here. You've got several of each letter and they've got extras of the vowels, which is really nice. Uh, I like these uh, cardstock stickers because they stick. I'm picky about alpha stickers. Um, you'll see me kind of use the same brands and same companies over and over and over because they work and that's what I want. I want them to stick when I stick them down and that's what these do. So um, they are in that um, blush pink that coordinates with the collection. So there's a look at the February collection. It is still available in the Freckle Fun shop. So I will have that linked down below for you guys. And then stay tuned going forward. I will have dedicated unboxing videos for their collections um, from here on out. But um, we are gonna go ahead and put together this layout for this photo here and I'm just going to stick to traveler's notebook size so I can stick it right in this binder so let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we'll put together this layout okay I went ahead and grabbed some of the embellishments that I think I'm going to use on this layout I'm going to start by adding color to this wood veneer piece I'm using some iced spruce distress paint which is this kind of light grayish green it's not quite an exact match with the mint color um, in this collection but it's neutral enough that it, it pairs well I like to have the dabber tops on my distress paints. They don't sell them this way anymore. You can buy that sponge dauber uh, separate. And so I've gone and started adding those to my paints because then I don't have to get a paintbrush dirty. I can just dab it directly onto the wood veneer and it's good to go. So I did add two layers of paint to that piece. And now you can see how it just perfectly blends in with this kind of monotone, monochromatic uh, layout that I'm doing here. Now, I'm not even matting my photos. I am keeping this layout extremely simple because I wanna show you that it doesn't take very much to scrapbook. I know we can get swept up in all of the elaborate, you know, cut files and layering and embellishment upon embellishment and just over the top pages for a photo. And, it, and those are fun and great and I do those too, but they're not necessary. You can just grab one of these um, collections, everything coordinates. It all is super simple. Use a few embellishments, do a little journaling, and you're good to go. So I'm trying to keep things fairly simple with these um, smaller traveler notebook pages. I'm gonna add um, this wood veneer piece over the top of one of those label stickers, and I'm using some liquid glue. This is my preferred way to attach um, wood veneer pieces rather than um, double-sided adhesive. I found that this lasts longer, whether they're small pieces or big pieces, um, I go for liquid glue. And it's at this point that I realized I'm not going to be able to hole punch this. <laughs> so um, while I was doing this video, I stopped and ordered the sleeve um, page protectors for the binder. And uh, so it didn't take me very long to change my mind here. Uh, a matter of minutes, apparently, because uh, I wasn't going to be able to hole punch through that wood veneer piece. So it's OK to change your mind. Um, we are going to roll with it and make it work. But... Uh, on this opposite page, I'm using one of the journaling cards to give my spot 
uh, give me give myself a place to add some journaling. Uh, and then I used one of those chipboard stickers. You can see I used a chipboard heart up there. I know it's pink. I didn't add very much pink. I try to keep it um, kind of in the grays and greens and teals. Um, I add that piece of washi, but it's just, it didn't sit right for me with the, the colors. So I ended up pulling that back off um, and just keeping it simple, though I did bring a little bit of the pink um, heart over to the right side of the page as well. And that's really gonna be it. I'll add my journaling off camera, um, but then I can just slide these into the sleeves and it's good to go, super quick and easy. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned or used today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.